Okay, I'm back here with the uh, results so far of turn one. You can see the little chits that have been drawn so far. And let's take a look at the results of some of what happened. So Siberian forces went first, and as I said in the last video, one of the goals was to grab the uh, gold at Kazan, and we did that very successfully. And the east chit has just been drawn for the red, so we'll see what kind of counterattack they make on that position. And if we move to the south, we can see how those two armies, the two red armies there, did indeed, uh, were out of supply when the logistics chit came up. But they managed to use their attack, they came up first before logistics, their front did, and they went over and took out the Turek Cossacks there, which is sort of handy, even though the whites will get them back uh, as a replacement the next turn. But they were pretty much uh, doomed from the start anyway, so to take out one unit is, is pretty good. And over here we see that some of the other AFSR forces moved up and started to put some pressure on Tsaritsyn, although it's very difficult to take Tsaritsyn, so we'll see what actually plays out there. We're almost done with turn one, and if we look over here at the turn track, we'll see that some reinforcements for both sides are coming in, and then we'll also, um, we'll see some replacements also come in. So those are reinforcements and replacement units. So the Red Army actually will get a couple more armies put on the board, and uh, the Turek Cossacks may come back, we'll see. Um, it really depends on if this Red Army gets dislodged which it probably won't actually. So because that's the home Krug spot, if you take a look here, you see that little T there. That means that's the uh, home uh, spot for that uh, Cossack unit, and it can only go eight hexes away from that spot and no further. But uh, you can't replace it if there's an army currently occupying it that's not yours. So I don't think we'll be able to get those back as reinforcements. And that, that's kind of a disappointment, but at the same time, um, those two armies will be eliminated on the next logistics pull. So, uh, because they're not in supply. Uh, it is possible that maybe they could, one of the armies could make a break for it if they activate before the logistics chit. So this army could, you know, come up to Astrakhan and actually be in supply. And actually this one could escape too. So it really does depend on when that logistics chit comes out. If it comes out early, they're doomed. If it doesn't, they can make a great escape. And honestly, we could really use their help in shoring up the southern front. It's very weakly held as it is right now. So that's a review of the first turn, and uh, we're almost done with this one, and then we'll move through, and then uh, I'll get you updated uh, as the second turn commences.